Hey, what's up, everybody? Doran Aldana here coming at you with another kick-ass episode of the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. And today we're going to do something a little different. We're mixing it up a little bit with an unprecedented making history, something new, something different, all new episode. It's called Ask Me Anything. That's right. Ask Me Anything. All things related to growing your business, uh, taking your mortgage business to the next level, attracting new referral partners, getting more partners or getting more referrals from the partners you already have, mining the gold from your database, tapping into your full potential, getting off your assets and getting to work, whatever the case may be, whatever your question may be, the gap between where you are and where you want to be is absolutely the kind of questions you want to be asking on my new experimental Ask Me Anything series. And so this is the first iteration of that kind of episode. And so we're going to just see how it goes. If it works, we're gonna, we'll keep doing it. If it doesn't, we'll go back to more of a formulated approach. But in the time being, in the meantime, in between time, this is how it's going to work is you guys just post in your questions. If you have questions, if you're watching this live on my uh, Facebook group, Art of Mortgage Marketing Facebook group, or any other location I may be streaming, like Mortgage Marketing Coach, Facebook fan page, business page, or maybe it's just on my personal page, wherever you may be watching this live, you can comment. And when you comment, I'll see them on my side and I'll pop them up on the screen. And, let, and, and there's no such thing as a dumb question, bad question, unless it's really dumb, then I'll let you know. No, just kidding. But if you uh, do that, I will answer your question. If we have too many questions, I may have any overflow questions go into the next episode of this iteration of the Ask Me Anything part of the series for our podcast episode series. But that being said, let's dive in, shall we? The first question we have is this. What's the fastest way to get to 10 plus deals a month as a newbie? That is a beautiful Awesome question. What's the fastest path to the cash to get to 10 plus deals a month? I'm glad you asked. The shortest path to the cash. Well, let's just talk about what it's not. What it's not is cold calling realtors every freaking Monday. That's definitely old school. That's doing it the caveman method from the dark ages. That's definitely doing it the hard way. So don't do that. Don't do cold calling. Uh, don't be posting five social media posts a day, throwing yoga to the fan, hoping something sticks. That's definitely doing it the hard way. Don't do blogging three times a week, coming up with all kinds of content to get out there. That's definitely doing it the slow way and the hard way. Don't be buying a bunch of crap leads off of Realtor.com or Realtor.ca or Zillow. Any of those buy online leads type of programs or Paying for pay-per-click advertising on Facebook or Google AdWords, yes, that can work, but it's doing it the hard way. You're going to need to sift through 100, 200, 300 leads just to close one deal. That's doing it the hard way. you got to sift through way too much gravel just to find a few gold nuggets. That's doing it the hard way. So what is doing it the smart way, Dorn? I'm glad you asked. The shortest path to the cash is and always will be attracting top producing realtor partners to make you their exclusive and to be able to do that in a way where you're attracting versus chasing, where you're positioning versus prospecting. There's a big difference. Now, chasing and prospecting looks like cold calling the same 40 freaking realtors every Monday because, again, you don't have any compelling value proposition. You're throwing yoga to the fan, hoping something sticks. You don't have anything unique. You don't have anything that makes you stand up from the clutter. You're just another loan leech, another mortgage parasite trying to leech loans. That's not going to get you the best results. You know it. I know it because if you've been in this business for more than a day and you've tried it, you know that to be true. That's definitely banging your head against the wall, spinning your wheels, doing it the hard way. So what we want to do is we want to launch what we call the Realtor Attraction Campaign. And what that does is it pre-necessitates, number one, that we target the right realtors. We're not going to go after anyone with, with a pulse that can fog a mirror who calls himself a mortgage or rather a realtor because they may or may not be the right fit. They may or may not even be doing business. They may or may not even be an ideal partner for you. So we want to do some reconnaissance first and we want to target the top producers. What is a top producer? A top producer is a real estate agent that's doing at least 20 transactions a year, ideally 20 buyer side transactions a year, even better. 
And so what that does is it allows you to be like a sniper versus being like someone who's just spraying and praying and doing the shotgun approach, just casting a wide net and doing the proverbial throwing yogurt to the fan, hoping something sticks method. That may work, but it's much more effective to laser beam focus in on the right realtors who are most likely to send you the most amount of business. So instead of going after the whining, sibling, com complaining, jelly donut, eating low producing realtors that maybe have capacity to send you one or two or three deals a year, we want to go after the top dogs that are doing 20 plus transactions a year who can send you one, two, three transactions a month, right? So it's about going narrow, deep and rich with just a few solid partners. Because if you think about it, if you want to get to 10 plus deals a month, all we need is 10 solid VIP realtor partners sending you one deal a month. That's it. Just 10 solid partners. You know what that is? That's just 20 to maximum 25 well-executed, well-orchestrated meetings the way we teach here on Planet Prosper, which is diagnose first, prescribe second. So instead of praying and spraying and just showing up and throwing up, talking about how great you are and how you have the best since sliced bread, you got great rates, great service, throw me a bone, which obviously is a minimum expectation just to be in business, by the way. That's nothing unique, certainly nothing compelling. Instead of doing that and just being plain Jane vanilla, you have a kick-ass value proposition where you're bringing real unique value. And that's where the Realtor Attraction Campaign comes in. So we have a very targeted laser focused list of top producers. We load it into our Realtor Attraction Campaign. It sends out the words that work that get these realtors hot for what you got. And then bada bing, bada boom, you're booking appointments with top producing agents like a hot knife through butter. We've got literally brand spanking newbie uh, mortgage professionals who are booking one, two, three, even four. The biggest number I've seen in the 17 years I've been coaching mortgage pros to success is 10 realtor partner meetings in one day. And those are top producers in one day. And what's interesting is the guy who has the record doesn't even have a pleasing personality. He's kind of awkward. You know, he's certainly not charismatic by any stretch. On the DISC profile, if you're familiar with the DISC personality profile, he's a high SC, which is like the scientists of the world. You know, those who are more of the administrators, the bean counters, you know, those people tend not to have the most charismatic personality types. And that was him. But because the system is so effective, he was able to book 10 appointments with top producing agents as a newbie in one day. When's the last time you booked a top producing uh, appointment with a realtor in the last month, let alone in one day, having 10 in one day? Obviously, that is a special kind of awesome. And that's a testimony to and proof in the pudding of having a wicked effective system that gets these realtors pre-tenderized, predisposed to say yes, hot for what you got, and receptive to your overture. So instead of making cold calls, you're making a warm call. And now, because you have the words that work, you can book those appointments on demand. And so that's the first step in the process is getting you to 10 plus deals a month is understanding that the shortest path to the cash is just getting 10 solid partners in your stable rock stars, not low producers, top producers, not chumps, champs. And if you want to make champion money, you can't afford to just have chump level partners. We need to have champion level partners. That's how you're going to condense decades into days and start making freedom money and be able to do what you want, when you want, with whom you want, anytime you want money, surging money in the shortest path to the cash time frame. And so that's really essentially how you as a newbie can get to 10 plus deals a month. We've been able to get people to that level in a matter of two to six months in rapid fire format, just by getting a handful of partners on board. Case in point, Terry Core. We took her annual income where she was on track to make 30K a month. She was doing about one deal a month, or rather she was doing 30K a year. She was on track, her trajectory was 30K for the year. She was doing about one deal a month. She started using the system. She got five appointments booked from lift, uploading a list of 25 realtors. And she got three solid partners sending her one, two, three deals a month. And that took her from one deal a month to seven to 10 deals a month in literally three months. And now she's made her annual income, 
her monthly income. And now that's her floor, not her ceiling. What's the really coolest part of her, her story is that when she came to me, she was freaking out. She had sleepless nights. She was waking up at three in the morning, freaking out, couldn't get back to sleep. So she just literally started working at three in the morning because she was freaking out because her hubby is going through chemo, fighting and battling cancer, and she's got four kids. And so I could relate to her. I got four kids too. I mean, if you have one kid, that's one thing. You got four, it's like that's four blowtorches under your butt to go out there and slay some dragons. And she was freaking out because she didn't know how she's going to provide for those four kids. Heaven forbid her hubby passes away. So that's a real fear. That's a real precipice of fear that she was staring in the face. Now she has total peace of mind because she knows she has an engine to turn the faucet on at will. And she's got these rock star partners that are sending her all her business. And she was able to go from zero to hero in literally three months just by using this system. So it works when you work it. So that's the first question we had in the queue. So let's move on to the next one. What's the best way to use social media to grow your mortgage business? That's a great question. Now, social media is an incredibly powerful tool. I mean, I've used my social media marketing and marketing channels on social media to literally bring in millions of dollars of revenue over the years. So I'm a testimony to the fact that social media works and uh, it's an exceedingly powerful marketing medium. That being said, there are so many ways to lose money and waste time on social media. Uh, the biggest pitfalls I see people falling into are the, you know, posting and posting and posting content after content after content. And they're just coming, wasting so much time posting content, but they're going nowhere. It's like they're splashing in the ocean, just splashing and flailing around, but they're not actually moving in the right direction. They're just expending energy with fruitless toil. You also see people doing social media with paid ads. They're getting a bunch of leads, but hardly any of them convert. So they're wasting money, time, energy, sifting through a bunch of gravel to find a few gold nuggets. And that's at best, a lot of times they sift through gravel, they don't find any gold nuggets. So that's definitely a pitfall you want to avoid. The other you know, pitfalls of social media are just the propensity towards getting sucked in the vortex of scrolling and scrolling. And that's why they call it, you know, waste book, not Facebook, but waste book, because it's such a black hole that can suck us into the vortex in a hurry where we're just scrolling and we get caught up with busy work, but it's not necessarily productive work. Activity is not necessarily productivity, you may have noticed. So how do we use social media the most potently profitable, effective way without wasting your time and money in the vortex of the black hole that has you wasting time and energy without getting fruit from your efforts? That's a good question. There's a few different methods. One of my favorites is setting up a Facebook group for realtors. This is one of the things that we help our clients do is set up a close the deal with John Smith, close the deal with whatever your name is and have a Facebook group specifically for top producing realtors where you're adding value, you're doing Facebook lives, you're doing town halls, you're doing posts on a regular basis, educational, inspirational, motivational, not just on mortgage content, but motivational and marketing content that helps them grow their business. And we give them the bullets to fill their chamber and their, and uh, you know, to have, bullets flying out of their uh, their cannon or their barrel, so to speak, that is kick-ass quality content in the form of videos, content for Facebook Lives, content for doing online Zoom trainings, et cetera. But having a group like that is really powerful for two reasons. One is because it's a group, when you do a post as an administrator, everyone else who has their notification settings on gets notified. They get pinged on their smartphone. You don't have the same benefit when it's just a business page on Facebook. So you get that benefit. The other benefit is as you grow it up, as you build it, it becomes a, your own private fishing hole, right? If you're a fisherman or a fisherwoman, I suppose, on the female genre of the scenario, you would have uh, absolute joy and an absolute delight to be able to have your own fishing hole if that fishing hole was stocked with rabid fish would you not i mean come on if you had rabid fish in your own fishing hole that you could stock up you're fishing all day long having a blast and you got no competition that's the big idea behind you having your own facebook group is you have your own fishing hole 
with no competition as you build it up. Now, does it become an avalanche of awesome overnight? Obviously not. It takes some time to build it up. You've got to build trust, build rapport. You've got to position yourself as an expert over time. You've got to continue to add value. You've got to be relentless. But the beautiful thing about it is it gives you the ability now to reach out to those people, not just through Facebook Lives and posts, but also through Messenger. And Messenger can be an exceedingly powerful way to connect people from just being a fan or just being uh, a group member to reaching out and booking an appointment. And again, those are the uh, systems and the scripts and the structure that we provide our clients. So it's just plug and play, turn key, stick the key in the ignition and drive away so you don't have to try and reinvent the wheel. Uh, so that's my absolute favorite social media method. I mean, there's other methods uh, like LinkedIn recruiting. We have uh, some powerful systems for doing uh, recruiting of realtors on LinkedIn as well. Hardly anyone knows how to do it. And of course, you know, post-closing, liking uh, and friending your realtors attached to the transaction, your clients attached to the transaction and cultivating a relationship by letting them into your world you know, your personal world with your personal profile so they can see your how you live your life, your hobbies, your thoughts, your family, you know, all the journey of life gets revealed if you're doing it right in a vulnerably and courageous way uh, in your personal profile. So if you're not doing that, definitely consider doing that. But uh, when it comes to really powerfully doing social media, live video as well as, of course, recorded video is one of the most powerful ways to create traction. So I'm doing this live right now. I don't have a script. I have some bullet points. That's pretty much it. Is it scary at the beginning? Absolutely. Was I scared shitless when I first started this? Absolutely. Was I afraid of tripping on my lips looking like a fool? Absolutely. Did I have imposter syndrome? Absolutely. I was afraid of looking bad, making a mistake, tripping on my lips, lips looking like a fool. But as you feel the fear and do it anyways, Fear is the only thing that gets smaller the closer you move towards it. Fear stands for false evidence appearing real or F everything and run, depending on how you look at it, right? I suggest the former versus the latter. Fear is false evidence appearing real. So you feel the fear, you do it anyways. Next thing you know, you start building muscle. You start building confidence that comes from competence because you're doing it in spite of the fact you don't feel like it or in spite of the fact you're scared shitless. Next thing you know, it's like, man, that wasn't so bad. And then you start getting comments, you start getting likes, you start getting shares, you start getting traction, you start getting appointments, you start building muscle, you start building mastery muscle. Next thing you know, it ain't no thing like a chicken wing. You eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and you now are building this ability to show up in power because you understand that every master was once a disaster. And so you don't stop just because you sucked on the first iteration. If something's worth doing, it's worth doing poorly before you get good at it. So I re definitely recommend doing Facebook Lives. Do it in your Facebook group for realtors. Do it on your personal profile. Do it on your business page. A Facebook Live a week, well executed, is exceedingly powerful. What do you talk about? We'll talk about the things that they care about. Talk about the problems they have and how to solve them. Talk about frequently asked questions. You know, there's questions that they ask on a frequent basis that you can break down. And each one of those questions is a Facebook Live or maybe it's a Facebook Live series. And so consider that for social media. Those are a few knowledge bombs I'm dropping on that. Let's get into the next one. I'm making good money, but not great money. How do I motivate myself to step up my game? Another great question. And this is where I often say good is always the mortal enemy of great. So if you're making good money, it's easy to coddle your comfort zone. It's easy to get complacent because you're comfortable. You're like, hey, I'm doing pretty good. I'm making pretty good money. I'm doing better than most. So it's easy to sit on your laurels. It's easy to be complacent. It's easy to drift instead of drive. But until and unless you get to the point where you're sick and tired of settling for good because you know you're called to and capable of great, you're never going to step up your game to great. If you keep coddling your comfort zone and telling yourself you're doing good, you're doing better than most because you soften the problem. So I was just talking with a gentleman the other day. He's making about half a million a year. He's been at that level for the last few years and he invested in my program to fix that, but he hasn't done jack diddly squat with it. Not jack diddly squat in an almost a year. Why is that? Because he's comfortable, right? It's not because 
our system doesn't work is because he didn't work it because he doesn't have that white hot fire burning desire because he's comfortable, right? And so that comfort zone is what steals our passion and our power to propel us into our purpose. That it's that comfort zone that keeps us from our dream. So we got to get connected to what I call inspirational dissatisfaction. I actually learned that from W. Clement Stone in his book, The Success System That Never Fails. And I love that term, inspirational dissatisfaction, which is basically like a holy discontent where you get connected to how much it sucks to just settle for good when you know you're capable and called to great. How much it sucks to see other people kicking ass, taking names, chewing bubble gum and crushing it, living your dream while you're on the sidelines, just doing okay. Just doing okay is okay if you're okay with okay. But once you get to the point where you're not okay with okay, you're sick and tired of being sick and tired of just settling for second best. And once you get connected to that, it's that magical alchemy of life transformation. It's called disgust and resolve. Once you're disgusted with the fact that you're leaving all the magic and all the awesomeness on the table that you know you're capable of, and you leave it on the table due to complacency and you get connected to the disgust of that where it's like enough is enough, no more, I've had it. Then it shifts to resolve. Disgust combined with resolve. Those two magical ingredients, now you've got the rocket fuel in your rocket to say, screw it, let's do it. Enough is enough, no more, I've had it, I'm done with that. I'm ready to step up my game. So if you're listening to this, you're watching this, this and you're like, man, I need me some more rocket fuel in my rocket. I need a system to attract top producing realtors to make me their exclusive. I'm ready to start working smart instead of just working hard. I'm done with doing it the hard way. I'm done with the struggle. I'm done with banging my head against the wall. If that's you, then you're definitely in the right place. And there's no doubt that uh, you being tuned in and dialed into the station here on Planet Prosper at Kickass FM is absolutely where you need to be. Before we talk about how we can help you serve you to your next level in growth, let me just uh, give you another one of the questions that came in from uh, the one and only Margaret Bali. Thank you, Margaret, for your question. She said, what if those high producing realtors already have a lender? That's a great question. And that's where you say, I can appreciate that. Frankly, I was expecting that because all the best realtors in town understand how important it is to have a top-notch lender in their corner to help them gain control over the quality of the transaction. So the question is not whether or not you have a lender. I was expecting that. The question is, do you have capacity to handle more buyers and sellers right now? You do? Okay, cool. If that's the case, let's get together either through Zoom or face-to-face, -face, depending on your preference. Let's lift up the hood on your business. We're going to look at what's working, what's not working where you're at now, where you want to be. If we can help you create a breakthrough in your business, by all means, I'll show you what that looks like and how we can help you achieve that with my VIP partnership program. If not, frankly, I'll be the very first person to advise you to pass on my services. But either way, Mr. Realtor, my goal for you is that you leave this meeting with massive value, massive clarity, and chances are we're going to have some fun along the way. Sound good? Notice how compelling and how easy it is for that realtor to say yes. So what did I just do? I went full blown badass Bruce Lee on that bad boy and I flowed like water. He put a boulder in my path called I already have a lender. That's cool. I just flow right around it. So whatever the lame ass objection it is, I can dismantle and overcome 99.9% .9 of those objections with that basic objection formula. That's cool. And, and then you just flow around it with, do you have capacity to handle more buyers and sellers right now? Now, it's one thing to be able to offer that. It's a whole other thing to be able to deliver that. And that's why smart, growth-minded, ambitious mortgage professionals hire us at MortgageMarketingCoach.com to learn the secret sauce on not just how to articulate it in a compelling way, so you're booking appointments like a hot knife through butter, but most importantly, how to deliver on it once you sign on those VIP partners now your job ain't done, it's just begun. Now we need to deliver on those promises, not just deliver, but over deliver, because that's how champions roll. So it's about a complete system. You can't just make promises and not be able to deliver on them uh, because all that does is speed up the rate at which the world finds out you suck and can't deliver. That's not gonna help you much, right? So it's important to be able to actually deliver on that. And that's precisely what we, what we arm, arm you with rather, 
on Planet Prosper at MortgageMarketingCoach.com. So I hope that answers your question, Margaret, and fantastic question at that. So if you're listening to this, you're watching this, and you're picking up what I'm putting down, and you're ready to take your business to the next level, you're ready to start working smarter versus just harder, and you're ready to create a quantum leap breakthrough in your business, which is not just a matter of you know making a little $50,000 annual lift or a $70,000 annual lift. We're talking about adding at least $100,000 or more to your annual income while working smarter, not harder. And you want to be able to do it in a way that's elegant and simple and allows you to maintain your dignity without having to inflict yourself with the hell of cold calling and prospecting and groveling and chasing and kissing ass. If you're ready to step up your game and take the shortest path to the cash and unleash more fun, more flow, more fulfillment in your business than ever before, then I invite you to book a call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. That's mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. On that call, you're going to have an opportunity to have a real conversation, an honest conversation with either me or one of my consultants. We're going to, this is going to sound real familiar. We're going to lift up the hood on your business. We're going to look at what's working, what's not working, where you're at now, where you want to take it. And if we can help you create a breakthrough in your business, by all means, we'll show you what that looks like, right? Sound familiar? And if not, we'll be the first to advise you to pass on our services. Either way, though, either way, you're going to leave that meeting with massive value, massive clarity, and chances are we're going to have some fun. Unless you're really boring, then we won't. <laughs> no, I'm just playing with you. Now, I had a question come in from someone that said, what kind of guarantee does your program have? Great question. Here's what I guarantee if you keep doing what you've always been doing, you're going to keep getting what you've been getting. If you do your push-ups, you're going to get stronger. You sit on the couch eating bonbons watching Oprah, you're going to get fatter and weaker. Same thing here. It works when you work it just like push-ups. So here's what I, I guarantee. If you're doing it the hard way and you notice that your way is not working, doing more of it is not going to help. Here's what I guarantee. The only guarantee in life is death and taxes. Everything else is a sales pitch. So the guarantee is if you keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to keep getting what you've been getting. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. Welcome to the front lines of capitalism in the real world. If you want a guarantee, I suggest you go get a day job, punching a clock nine to five and nine to five prison, working for the man, building someone else's dream and, and build, instead of building someone else's. Because if you're an entrepreneur on the front lines of capitalism, there are no guarantees. The only guarantee is that your income is inextricably linked with your impact. That's what I guarantee. The more value, valuable you become, the more value you create, the more zeros and commas you add to your bank account. That's what I guarantee. What I guarantee is you become the best version of yourself, you're going to have more to give. The more you have to give and the more value you create, the more value is reflected in your bank account because your income is a reflection of your impact. That's what I guarantee. So I hope that answers your question. Great question. So again, if you if that sounds meaningful, worthwhile to you, and you'd like to explore how we can help you pour gasoline on the fire and take your business to a whole other level, working smarter, not harder, go ahead and book a call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. My name is Doran Aldana coming at you from the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. I trust you got value from this today. If you digged it, hit me up with a comment. We'll do it again. If you didn't, then keep it crickets like a cemetery. We won't do it again. So I'll let you decide whether we should be doing this again. This is the first of our Ask Me Anything series, and it may just be a one and done. If you guys think the other method was better, by all means, that's cool. But if you like the dynamic energy, if you like the interactivity, if you like to be able to get your questions in and have me answer it for you for free and give you a real deal, calling it tight, no half step and no pulling punches style that I bring, then go ahead and comment. Let me know so that I know whether we should be pressing the repeat button on this bad boy. And if you're ready for that, hit me up with a comment. I want to hear from you. All right, y'all. Love you. Appreciate you. Thank you for the honor and privilege of serving you. Be blessed. We'll see you on the next episode. Peace, y'all.